loses control, and the ball is stolen. Gets in the paint. Nice little fake, and he shoots. Ooh, misses the inside shot. Smarts looking to get free off the screen. Shot clock says 12 to Hayward. With the fake, sweet, nice move into the paint. Teague the rebound. Boston's got to be aware of how badly they need a stop. Just a matter of can they do it. Rose jump shot. Rose can't get that one to go either. Gorgeous outlet pass. Takes another shot. Puts it in. That's a long two-pointer. And they call timeout. When you play that good at defense and you contest the two-point J, you expect a good result there. The offense was just superior. The concentration and the follow-through. He stuck his shot. Some substitution is going to be made now for the team. Anthony Towns, Anthony Towns working down low in the post. That's good for two. The Timberwolves up by 52. And as this game has gone on and progressed, they have become more and more efficient offensively here in the second half. Absolutely dynamic offense. Taking it baseline, great footwork off the dribble. Good adjustment, can't finish. Unable to flip it in. Oh, excellent screen. Blows past the defender. Quick decision and gets rid of it. Anthony Towns working hard, backing down his opponent. And Gordon Hayward with a hand up to alter that shot. You never know in this league. You just work for 48 minutes. Challenge shots. Make it hard on the other team. You can get back in the game. And that's his 11th rebound of the game. <laughs> 11 seconds remaining on the 24. Oh, he beats the defender. Looking to curl in. Banks it in for two. That's a 12-4 run for the Timberwolves. Ellison's trying to get free off the pick. To Hayward. The shot clock shows 10 seconds left. Hayward on the drive. Terrific rejection. Beats his man. Oh, and he jukes him out of his shoes. Minnesota's eight for eight from the line. There's the whistle. Good job to draw the foul. Team foul number one for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Nope. First free throw won't go. Substitutions, Boston. Into the game for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Number 20. down the second after he misses the first. <laughs> Off the dribble, attacks the goal. Oh, nice spin move and the bucket from Kyrie Irving. Where was this attacking of the basket earlier in the game before you got down so big? I don't want to see this drive and score now when you're being blown out. Show that to me earlier when the game was still on the line. 
Still plenty of time, 12 seconds on the shot clock. To Tatum, on a catch and shoot. That one, in and out. Boston's in need of a big time. Good play, gets the steal. Excellent anticipation to take the pass away. The perfect dish, wide open for three. Oh, in and out. Ellis is using the screen, trying to get free. 11 seconds now on the shot clock. Looks to the post. For the layup. Smart adjustment for the shot and gets it to go. They need a timeout here. The Timberwolves up by 51. A great shooter's never even noticed the defenders. He thought he was out in the park shooting by himself. Now coach is going to make some changes on the floor. Screen set nicely. Deep. Shut down, forced to make the pass. That's a three. Jeff Teague's three for four from three-point territory. And you play defense like this, you deserve to lose. You deserve to get blown out, and that's what's happened here tonight. Reaches in, taken away by Teague. Sends it to the corner. Good solid entry pass. Wiggins, it's shot thrown right back at him. at home for two. That's a good play in transition. Push it, get to the rim, and finish. But it's just too little, too late. Here's the screen. And he kicks it out. T for two. And Al Horford with his ninth rebound. Irving's denied. Nice touch at the basket. To Gibson. Tied up and has to pass. Ball comes loose. Oh, he gets the steal. Defensive three second violation. That's a technical. points changing in the matchups right now both coaches trying to make some changes Irving nine left on the shot clock he tries to step back and Kyrie Irving with a two-pointer is looking for the screen to get himself open. Perfect entry pass. Banks it in. Sweet dish from Andrew Wiggins. Horford's using the screen, looking to get free. He loses control of it. The ball stolen. To Crawford. Inside. He'll head to the line with under three to go here on the fourth. Draws the contact. Yep, it's a foul called against Hayward. First free throw, perfect. Second one off the mark. He goes one for two. Pick up, pick up. Screen, screen, come on. The shot clock down at 12 seconds remaining. Moves around the defender. There's the step back. Nice adjustment. Knocks it down. That's a two-pointer.
feeds it right back. He's switching gears. Gets the wide open look for three. Bang! From downtown. Minnesota's shooting 50% from the three point line tonight. At halftime, they had to make offensive adjustments, and they have. And they have come out and put on a great show offensively. Hayward fires, misses at the rim. Wiggins, Anthony Towns looking to get free off the screen. Nice inside pass. Into the paint, on the drive to the goal. It's up and gets the roll. This speed is hard to guard. Speed kills, beats his man off the dribble, and then finishes right at the basket. Irving gets inside. Oh, there's that Euro step move. Pretty. He blocks him again. Ball goes out of bounds. So much activity on the boards from Carl Anthony Towns. And he's been working hard around the rim here today, using his positioning to get the boards. They don't beat the clock. 24-second violation. Defense. Defense. That's what I'd love to see. Shot clock violation. That's big-time defensive basketball. Oh, he shoots it. Gibbs is shot way off. Entry pass gets it inside. Strong finish at the rim. That's the easiest play in basketball right there. Catch it near the basket and flush it home. Oh, excellent screen. Blows past his man. The just off the glass. You need guys who can beat their man off the dribble and finish at the basket. Irving. Able to pull up. He rattles it in. And Minnesota's done what's necessary to get that win here today as this game is winding down. it out to the corner. Puts up another shot. Knocks it down. A two-pointer. Irving's three-pointer won't go. And that's it. Time runs out. The final score is 113 to 60. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Green saying thanks for joining us and good night. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Timberwolves put on a show in a blowout. They did it with blocks and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Celtics did not look good in this one, and neither did the score. And it's games like this where veteran players can be so important. They've been through these types of blowouts, and they know what it takes to keep a locker room united. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Boston Celtics. Game track, steals. And here we have a look at the game stats. Player of the game, Carl Anthony Towns wasn't satisfied with just getting steals. He had to insist on getting a bunch of blocks as well. 
Now that's what I call defense. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Here are the top plays from the game. Number two. Number one. These are the games on today's NBA schedule. With the playoffs around the corner, here are the Western Conference standings. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Jalen Rose, signing off.